<laughs> Listen, I could go through the CV, but I'll probably take all day. But I do want you to, to before we get on to the, the World Championship in Oregon, the story with you and 83. Now, you were unwell, weren't you? Isn't that true that you weren't actually going to run in the first place and then end up breaking the world record and winning the gold? Yeah, I got ill about a week before. Uh, so it was the Stuttgart in 1993, it was. And, um, yeah, about a week before, I felt really bad. And I just, because I think because you're a, an Olympic champion, you just feel like everybody's, you know, is out to get you. And, you know, you put yourself on your line and, and you don't get through the heats. And all, there was lots of things going through my head. But, you know, in the end, I just thought, well, just get out there and just see what happens and pick up the pictures you know, pieces if you need to. And um, yeah, it went the other way. So it's amazing how, yeah, I learned a lot about myself in that race. Yeah, never give up, that's for sure. <laughs> you know what I've used, it's so weird because I've even used that talking to my kids and I've said, well, Sally Gunnell, you know what she did when she was unwell, she went out and broke the world record. And, and it seems to be a sport thing because I've spoken about it quite a lot over the years. The, the fact that it seemed like you weren't, did it, was it like a, because it almost made you try harder, maybe you thought there's no chance that you'll win, that it gave you that extra push, the fact that you knew you were unwell? Yeah, I think there was two things. I mean, my, my massive rival, Sandra Farmer Patrick, she broke the old world record as well. So she sort of really, you know, the two of us were fighting. So that's what made it so fast on that day. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, so much of it is in the mind, isn't it? You know, we talk about this all the time and, you know, we're watching the golf at the moment and tennis last week at Wimbledon and you just, so much of it, you can be as fit or whatever, but so much of it is just your mental strength. And, and I think that's what got me around those races when I, yeah, when I was really at my top. We were only talking about mental strength as well when you, when you mentioned the golf just a little bit earlier. Um, let's talk about the, the World Championships now. Now, they're over in Oregon, and I don't know whether you feel the same way. I just mentioned um, to Stephen and Anne about the fact that it used to be everywhere. You know, you would see athletics everywhere, and everybody was inspired to get involved, and it seems that the popularity has dwindled, and some of our athletes have said similar things as well. Yeah, I find it really sad because we're still sort of really involved. I've got a son that runs. I've got my husband that coaches. And, you know, and we do, we think back not so many years ago of, you know, London 2012. And, and there has been lots of changes uh, with the governing body. And I think sponsorship has struggled as well to come in. Um, and also, I think, you know, there's a lot of other sport out there. There's so much, you know, you know choice for people to watch and to take part in. Whereas back in sort of my day, you know, you'd have about three or four sports and that was it. So, but it is sad to see because we've got some amazing athletes and, um, you know, they're at the top of their game, but we're just not getting that story across and they're not becoming these household personalities that they deserve to be. Well, let's